What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 80 of Room Tour Project, the series where we show off the best setups. Our special guest is going to be Carl Conrad, he's coming back on the series to show off his 2017 desk setup, so I'm pretty pumped to have him on. And by the way, shout out to the winner from last week's episode for winning that Amazon gift card. I'll have more information on that at the end of the video. But hope you guys dig this episode, we have a lot of great ones planned to show off, so let's start episode 80. First up here we have Brad with his red and black themed Star Wars setup and he actually has two individual setups on that L shaped desk. Let's check this out. First off I gotta say props for finding all your gear and peripherals that are going to stick to that color theme. You can always appreciate that dedication to make your setup look that much better. Now his main display here is from Samsung, it is a 24 inch curved display. This one actually comes in at around 150 bucks, so a great budget curved monitor. I'm definitely digging the Star Wars like Lego figures and prints on the wall above, really helps add to the whole theme. Plus the wallpaper so you got it on lockdown. Now for peripherals on his desk, he has Logitech Z506 surround speakers on each side of his monitor there. And for his keyboard, he's rocking the Corsair Strafe RGB with the Corsair M65 Pro RGB. RGB mouse, and that of course is on the Corsair MM800 Polaris RGB mouse pad. And completing that is the Corsair Void wireless headset here, digging this shot. And then off to the right side of his setup, he has his PC. This thing is looking very, very cool. Definitely fits in with his overall kind of color scheme he's got going on. Inside the red and black Fantex Enthu Lux case is an AMD FX 9590 CPU. Don't see many of those on the show with a Corsair H100i V2 cooler. That's on MSI 99FXA motherboard, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and an MSI GTX 1070 graphics card, plus the NZXT Hue Plus for some extra added glow and lighting. Then quickly to check out that secondary setup, he's got a Vizio 24 inch TV actually, but it's 1080p there. And for his peripherals here, he has the SteelSeries Apex keyboard and Logitech G502 mouse. And even here, he's got a completely separate PC. He has the Thermal Take Core V2 case with an i5 6500K CPU, with the Corsair H55 cooler, plus a GTX 970. So a nice little secondary setup going on. But like I opened up with, I can definitely appreciate the dedication to your theme, whether it's you know sticking to the red and black colors, or having the Star Wars gear all around, whether it's the Lego figures, the prints on the wall. A very, very nice setup here, really good stuff. Now Scott's hitting us with this apparent looking basement setup I want to say, but it is all together just looking crazy and I'd love to just chill down here, game, definitely kind of encaptures that whole gamer feel. For his desk setup here, his primary display is an LG 34U M67, a nice ultra wide. And on the right side, in the vertical orientation, he has a 27 inch monitor from Samsung for some extra pixels. The cable management seems to be hidden by some sort of board here to have them mounted up like that and I kind of see some subtle RGB lighting behind. On his desk is his Vortex Poker 3 keyboard with some MX clear switches inside. Additionally, he has a little graffiti 60% keyboard wrist rest and his mouse is Logitech G900 on a Corsair MM300 extended mouse pad. When talking audio, he's got three options here. All the way to the left side is the Audio-Technica M50Xs, followed by the Hi-Fi Man HE350 headphones and the Astro A40 headset in white. They're going to be powered by the trusty Bio E10K amp and DAC, and his speakers are the YU3 from Kanto. And then over to his PC, which is the Fantex Enthu Evolve case, digging a little Stormtrooper pop figure there. Inside is an i7-6700K CPU. The tequila is starting to make me slur my words. It's on an Asus ROG Maximus Hero 5 motherboard, 32 gigs of Corsair Dominator Platinum RAM, a Samsung 500 gigabyte SSD, and of course for some extra lighting, the NZXT Hue Plus. And then on the other side of this room, he has a massive 60 inch smart TV from Sharp here, primarily for playing, you know, some of his console games. He's got the Xbox One, the PS4 here, all for this entertainment setup going on. But it just looks really cool and it's all staying true to the kind of black and white theme he has. Additional little desk area for keeping some extra controllers and an extra keyboard. Just a really nice gaming setup here that I think tastefully captures the whole gaming feel. Alright, now this one looks very cool, very clean, and obviously is all Gundam related or Gundam themed. I think that's what that is. Honestly, I'm not a big Gundam fan, don't know much about it, but yeah, it still looks badass nonetheless. 
I like his choice of colorful lighting throughout with the RGB backlighting behind his desk and the monitor. It kind of goes along with his Gundam figures here. It adds some nice contrast to those huge white speakers on his desk. His primary display, or only display, his monitor is the LG 24MP88HM. Pretty much a 24 inch monitor. And sticking with a solo display, I think was a nice choice here. It adds a lot of simplicity overall. For his peripherals, his keyboard is the Ducky Shine, rocking some custom keycaps and a nice wooden wrist rest there. Got Logitech G402 mouse. And for audio, I'm digging his choices. He has the Bear Dynamic Custom One Pro headphones, plus the Audio Technica R70X. Very, very nice selection. Now's the time where we slide over to his PC and inside the NZXT H440 case in black. He has an AMD FX8350 CPU and keeping that cool is a Noctua NHU14S cooler. It's on an Asus 970 Aurora Gaming motherboard, 16 gigs of HyperX RAM, and a gigabyte GTX 1070 G1 graphics card, plus another Samsung SSD, keeping the PC nice and quick and powerful. And then off to the right side is a little secondary station for his MacBook Pro there. Got the headphones and a nice wooden headphone stand. Gotta have one of these. And yes, a look at the Gundam collection. Got one there holding his earbuds. But overall, I'm sure if you're a Gundam fan and you're more familiar with them than I am, you could appreciate that. Got some Star Wars figures as well. And I love when people take hobbies and integrate them with their setup. I'm just a big fan of when they do that and it always looks really, really cool. This one here, nice and colorful, but still simple. I'm definitely liking it. And then a what's up here to Ryan with his bedroom gaming setup. Definitely a fan of uh, Spider-Man, it would appear. Maybe more so Marvel as a whole, but either way, like I already said, I like these themed setups. This one here makes the choice of going a nice simple route with a single solo monitor, but the choice here is Prime with the Asus ROG Swift 34 inch 1440p display with G-Sync and it's just a great monitor at that. And then for a closer look at his gear, again matching his color theme here, like matching these speakers to his mouse pad in all white. He's got the Razer Black Widow Chroma paired with Logitech G502 Proteus Spectrum, the nice extended white mouse pad. Got the RGB peripherals matching that Spider-Man color kind of look. And for audio mounted under his desk and a nice little hanger there, he has the Audio Technica M50Xs and a Game Dios gaming headset. Powered by one of my all-time faves, the Fio E10K. Then lastly in terms of audio are his Kanto YU4 bookshelf speakers with a Kanto Sub 8 subwoofer underneath his desk. And as for his PC, throwing some love to some iBuy power here with the Revolt 2 case. Inside is an i7 6700K CPU with a GTX 1070 graphics card. Got another little side setup here with a little TV for his uh, Xbox and stuff like that. Xbox One for some console gaming. Shelf full of pop figures, but all together, this setup looks pretty cool. Nice RGB Marvel theme setup got going on. And I don't often see the uh, Revolt 2 from iBuyPower in a setup, so I wanted to throw some love to them. Woo! Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, and first and foremost, big, big thanks to Frank for having me appear on the second time on the Room Tour project. You can see in 2017, we've got some pretty big studio upgrades, mostly to do with the main setup that I've got in the back, but I wanted to ask you guys, right there, the third monitor, that's where I'm gonna be building my very own PC. I know that most of this stuff on this side, that's all Mac-based, but since I haven't built one before, I kinda wanna get into that white slash orange combo. Interested to see what you guys are gonna say, so give me recommendations, comment on his video, and maybe I'll use some of those ideas to build my very first PC. Nail biting. Really looking forward to seeing your input on that and hopefully seeing a couple of you over on my channel. Enjoy. So the main showstopper that you'll see is kind of the monitors that make the entire setup so impressive. And these are the 34UC98 monitors and they are hooked up, well I guess two of them, to the 2016 MacBook Pro which you see in the middle. I used to have two 5K Ultra Fines also from LG but I found that this was just more of an impressive setup. I saw this setup this year at CES and I knew that I had to incorporate it into my Mac setup. I couldn't justify spending the extra money to get the 38 inch monitors. They would have worked better with my 2016 MacBook Pro so I do have to live the dongle life. You can see some accessories that I'm rocking, the SD card adapter, as well as the CalDigit Tough HD. Of course in orange, that's the theme that I'm going for. 
The third monitor on the left hand side is what I'm really asking for help with. I'm running a makeshift a small little PC just to have the screen on, but this is where I'm trying to build my very own PC. I will be reading the comments. Hopefully you guys can help me out over here. Over on the other side is my old desk setup, which I've migrated over. I've got a Herman Miller chair and tons of orange throughout as that's my color scheme. You can see the Lego GT3 RS. I've got a notebook, little Android figures. Flanking the 5K iMac in the middle is two Yamaha HS7s, once again in white. And the 5K iMac in the middle is a 24T model, recently just upgraded the RAM to 32 gigs, should still give me some longevity. And beside that is some of the lenses that I use to record these videos. I just got two new Battis lenses and currently recording with the A7R2. And on the opposite side lives a 55 inch Samsung 4K TV with what you see in the corner is a custom colorware Xbox One S as well as an orange controller. As you guys can tell, orange is the theme that we're going for here. All right, guys, that'll do it for episode 80 of Room Tour Project. I hope you enjoyed, and a shout out and thank you to Carl for coming back on the series. I will put this channel in the description down below, as well as all the products you saw in this episode. If you saw anything you liked, definitely check the description. It'll be all listed there for you. Now, if you want to find out how to win an Amazon gift card, we've been doing this each week for the past month or so. All you have to do is go and download the app Nice. And when you watch this episode on there or any Room Tour Project episode, all you have to do is vote for your favorite setup and you'll be entered to win an Amazon gift card. So we do this weekly. It's a great chance to give back to you guys, let you interact with the series. And we do this pretty much for other stuff as well. You get to watch my videos early for free. So there's always some great perks on there and no extra charge to you. So definitely check out the nice app. If you like this video, guys, definitely give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed episode 80 of Room Tour Project. Have a good day.